think I'm forget this. Uh, to everyone, my name is Molly Beth Kranitz. I am the chair of the Coalition for Jewish Learning Advisory Board. We are so glad to be together virtually today for our annual salute to Jewish educators. We hope to make the salute to Jewish educators an interactive event. So we encourage you to post throughout the event. Please start by introducing yourself in the chat or in oh, the comments. I don't want to do a chat. Should, do I, should I just get it over with? Okay. Don't do any of that. Um, welcome. My name is C.P. Altman Schaefer, and I'm the Jewish Okay, welcome. My name is C.P. Altman Schaefer, and I am the Jewish Education Community Planner and the Director of the Coalition for Jewish Learning of the Milwaukee Jewish Federation. We gather today to honor all the Jewish educators in Milwaukee, and in particular, our extraordinary honorees this year. We hope that by recognizing them, we honor all of those who work in Jewish schools and educate the next generation of Jewish youth. To get us started, Miriam Rosenzweig, CEO and President of Milwaukee Jewish Federation, will share a few words. Hi, everyone. Sorry, I have a, a guest lecturer with me who uh, wanted to see what's on the screen. Um, <clears throat> Welcome everyone and on behalf of the Mo uh, Mosh Katz, Chair of the Board of the Milwaukee Jewish Federation and an educator himself and the entire board of the Federation, we want to congratulate all the uh, winners of this year's Salute to Educators Award, but as well as all of the educators in our community. This is an amazing community that takes the time every year to recognize our teachers. But this year more than ever, I think we feel something really special when we think about our teachers. Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel says, what we need more than anything else is not textbooks, but text people. It is the personality of the teacher, which is the text that people read, the text that they will never forget. Well, we really felt that this year. As schools went okay, online, as schools went remote, we saw our schools Yes, in an incredible way. Make sure, hold on one second, make sure that the uh, students have ways that they can access education. But we really felt that lacking and the missing from the one-on-one -on -one with the teachers. And it's something that we are committed to working with our schools in the most effective way po possible to bring back. As we enter this next very complicated year, in these very complicated times, we wish our teachers the strength Sorry. and the agility and to know that the Milwaukee Jewish Federation is right here behind you. I want to send out a special mazel tov to Steve Baru, Dr. Steve Baru, whose impact on the community through his work in CJL is, was felt not only when he was running it, but for, for now and years to come. I also want to thank the wow, team who is the current director of the Coalition for Jewish Santa Learning Jesus. for all the work that she's doing to ensure that teachers can work remote and have the most up-to-date knowledge mm -hmm. on how to create community online. Thank you, everybody. And I'm going to ask whoever is not personally muted to mute so that we can hear all the speakers. And thank you for letting my guest speaker join this call. Congratulations. <laughs> Molly Beth. Rabbi Joel Alter for Congregation Beth Israel Ner Tamid will share an opening prayer. The primary challenge of the virus time in which we live is that so much that used to be live and personal and in person has now become virtual. I want to say to the teachers of Torah, the Jewish educators gathered here, that virtual reality has been essential to Jewish reality for a long time, and it still is, virus or no virus. We know this most famously from the Seder, when we say, When we make the Seder, we are to see ourselves as if we have actually come out of Egypt, uh, that uh, the long ago is here and now. We learn in Shabbat uh, 119b Kufyot Tetbet, Amar Rav Hamnuna 
כל המתפלל בערב שבת ואומר ויחולו, Uh, anyone who in saying in davening Friday night recites the Vayahulu paragraph, the paragraph from uh, the beginning of Breshit, recounting how God completed creation and uh, sanctified and made uh, the seventh day Shabbat holy, Ma'ale alav hakatuv, the the Torah regards him fully. Ki'ilu na'asa shutaf la'kadosh baruch hu Breshit. The Torah regards that person, that davener, who includes that paragraph, reciting how God completed the work of creation and then moved into sanctifying uh, Shabbat for this, uh, the seventh day of Shabbat, uh, the Torah regards him as becoming a full partner with God in the creation of the world. And we learn in Sanhedrin 99b, Sanhedrin Saditet Bet, Amar Reisha, Kish Kol HaMalamedet Ben Chaveiro Torah Ma'ale Alav HaKatuv Ke'ilu Asao That uh, anyone who teaches another's child, that is to say any person, uh, teaches another uh, another person Torah, the Torah regards him, the teacher or her, the teacher, fully, authentically, legitimately, as if the teacher has created that student as if the teacher has formed that student and the, uh, just as uh, that uh, student's parent uh, in fact uh, formed uh, him or her. And so as we go into another year that to a greater or lesser extent uh, will, because of the virus, include virtual reality much more than we are used to, uh, I say to you, to all of us, let us remember that as Jews, as teachers of Torah, we are creating worlds and we are creating people. When we say the words of Torah, when we teach the words of Torah, when we raise up people in lives of Torah. So teach well, learn well, and uh, uh, may, us, uh, may we all discover wonderful uh, new worlds uh, in creation along the way. We want to take a moment to recognize the teachers who are just getting started, and also see the cumulative years of experience represented in this virtual space. If you are a teacher, please post in the chat how many years you've been teaching. As we get ready for the 2020-2021 school year, we are aware of the challenges that educators faced and will continue to face in adapting to the new reality. We salute your dedication, your hard work, and your willingness to learn new things and pivot as needed. Your commitment to the craft of teaching is remarkable. Thank you for all you do. In addition to recognizing the experience of all our teachers, it is a tradition in Milwaukee to recognize teachers who have been working in the field of Jewish education for 18 years and for 36 years. We asked all our Chai and Double Chai winners to share their thoughts about Jewish education. Chai Award winners have been teaching for 18 years. Chai Award winner, Chagit Azlak from Bader Hillel Academy. Rabbi Chanina said, I have learned a lot from my teachers, even more from my friends, but from my students, I learn most of all. Chai Award winner, Katie Ellis from Bader Hillel Academy. Being an educator for the past 18 years means to me that I have had a chance to inspire many young people to live their dreams. Chai Award winner, Rachel McAgun, Ganami, and Congregation Emmanuel Vene Yashiran, the investment in Jewish education pays for the next generation to change the world. High Award winner Beth Meister from Torah Academy of Milwaukee. To me, teaching is about helping my students grow, building relationships with them, and celebrating their many successes. High Award winner Sandy Rusink of Congregation Emmanuel B'nai Yashurin. My greatest pleasures while teaching at CEBJ for 19 years have been the reward of students saying they enjoy coming to my class, seeing their enthusiasm for learning, and working with them and their families to impart Jewish values, customs, and traditions. Double Chai Award winners have been teaching for 36 years. Double Chai Award winner Bacha Landis from Bader Hillel Academy, I am extremely privileged to have spent so many years nurturing precious Nishamot.
Four times before, the Coalition for Jewish Learning has recognized a member of the Milwaukee Jewish community with a Lifetime Impact Award. This award is given to someone who has dedicated his or her life to improving Jewish education. Former award winners are Eve Joan Zucker, 2015 recipient. Elaine Sanderson, Zichranali Bracha, 2016 recipient. Jerry Benjamin, Zichranoli Bracha, 2018 recipient. Rabbi Nachman Levine, 2019 recipient. This year's winner of the Lifetime Impact Award is Dr. Stephen Baruch, my predecessor at the Coalition for Jewish Learning. Steve, I am grateful to you for paving the way for my work at CJL. Rick Meyer, former CEO of the Milwaukee Jewish Federation, will introduce Steve. Stephen is whip smart, caring, fair, understanding, and has an uncanny ability to disarm people with his charm and his self-deprecating humor. I consider him a friend and a mentor and feel lucky to be able to learn from such a gentle and quiet powerhouse. Steve Baruch was a really supportive and inspirational person for my master's thesis project and he continues to update me on modern trends happening in education. So thank you and mazel tov to Steve that it was a pleasure and that I very much appreciated working for, under your leadership. You always demonstrated integrity um, and a, a great commitment to Jewish education. Having been a teacher, you understood the needs of the community, you understood the needs of teachers, and always strove for an excellence, excellence and a total inclusivity of the entire community. Steve is a person of sterling character, and if I would have to describe him in one word, I would say that word would be a mensch. Mazel tov, Steve. The meetings that you conducted and the times that you and I spent talking one-on-one -on -one about the goals of Coalition for Jewish Learning and how I could be an effective chair of, of advisory board meant so much to me and they taught me everything. Steve was a visionary. He was professional. He was thoughtful. He was patient. And he was a real team player. He is really committed to higher Jewish learning. For decades you've been our teacher and over those decades you've become our friend. And you've done this by sharing your deep knowledge with passion yet with humility, with loyalty yet with a profound understanding of how to work within our diversity. You, Dr. Baruch, have brought to all of us here in Milwaukee what your name means. You brought us all blessing. Thank you. I was so fortunate to get to know you and to work with you. And since I had you as a captive audience, I decided to put on my Jewish educator hat very often and really uh, learn from you as an educator. He's kind, considerate, compassionate, sincere, and humble, even amidst all of those great qualities. He's a wonderful friend, and he has been a wonderful role model to me as well, to so many others in the community. But it's your character and it's your personality that made you such a pleasure to work with. Mazel tov, Grandpa. I love you. Mazel tov, Grandpa. We love you. Mwah. Soon after Steve introduced me to his wonderful daughter, Laura, he welcomed me with open arms into the Baruch family. The Hebrew word Baruch means blessed. This introduction and Steve's support of me as a fellow Jewish educator has led to more blessings than there are stars in the sky and dust on the earth. Mazel Tov and Yasher Koach on this Lifetime Impact Award. It is wonderful that the Milwaukee Jewish community recognizes the educator that Steve is and that he will always be. Dad, how many times when people stop us out in public and walk up specifically to you and say, you know, I'm Jewish or I'm half Jewish. 
and you never miss an opportunity to say, and what do you do with your Judaism? And that's what I saw that you love to do so much. You want a teacher? I'll find you a teacher. You want a program? I'll find you a program. I'll make you a program. I'll get the funding and resources for you to make a program. And that's just what you're just passionate about doing. And I think a lot of people are stand taller in their Judaism because of it. So I want to wish you a big mazel tov, and um, I'm very proud of you. Steve, through the many years and ways we have worked together, I've always felt truly fortunate to have the opportunity to learn from you and to be consistently inspired by you. The vast knowledge you have shared, dedication you have demonstrated, and heartfelt contributions you have made to the Jewish and greater communities of Milwaukee are truly immeasurable. You brought the term coalition to life by working with every federation agency, Jewish school, and organization that wanted to partner on a program or a project. Thank you, Steve, for bringing Jewish education out of the institutions and extending it to the entire community. It was my pleasure and honor to work for you at CJL for many years. You were a role model for me and many others. Your relentless efforts to better Jewish education are much appreciated. You've been a positive impact on students and educators alike. Thank you for all you've done to better Jewish education in Milwaukee. I actually was on the search committee for the Coalition for Jewish Learning when we were looking for a new CJL executive director. We offered the job to Steve Baruch. What a great choice. Steve's contribution to the Jewish community of Milwaukee was huge. He certainly has made a lifetime impact on our community and on everyone who worked with him. And under his amazing leadership to get all the wonderful projects done, keep everybody happy, and have such great output, it takes special leadership skills to do that. Steve, thank you so, so much for everything that you have done for education in Milwaukee, for educators in Milwaukee, for me personally. I wish you a mazal tov on this much deserved honor. You have been such a tremendous support and help to me in so many capacities. But the one that I wanted to reflect on is the amazing work that we got to do together to create a docent training program for Jewish Museum Milwaukee. Um, we started out without a museum and thought about every Jewish thing that we might be able to talk about. And 26 sessions later, we had trained our first class of docents. I would not have been able to even conceive of a way of figuring out how to teach a museum when a museum didn't exist yet. The idea of you having a Lifetime Achievement Award could have been given 10, 15, 20 times for all you've done for our community near and far. You're an exceptional human being and I cannot thank you enough for all you've done. Please, don't you dare think that just because you've gotten this award, you can retire. Good afternoon. It's great being here at this special event, this virtual event, especially during this challenging time of the COVID-19. I'm Rick Meyer, the former longtime executive of the Milwaukee Jewish Federation, and I'm so honored that Steve asked me to introduce him as part of this year's 2020 Salute to Jewish Education, where he's being recognized with a Lifetime Jewish Impact Award. It's a bit strange doing this virtually, but that only means that, Steve, you'll have an easier time showing it to your family and different generations in the years ahead, though given your modesty, I doubt that it'll happen and you'll be a bit uncomfortable doing so. In the lead up to the originally timed event in March, the Wisconsin Jewish Chronicle uh, wrote of Steve, quote, that he always puts the needs of others first and he's selfless, dedicated, ethical, and a team player. Now that really only touches the surface of who Steve is and how his personal characteristics have helped him have such an impact first in the general community of Jewish of education and then in our own Jewish educational arena. Steve has had a long distinguished career here in Milwaukee. Actually, as I mentioned, two. Um, he began in 1966 with MPS as a teacher. He worked his way up over the years, 32 years, I believe, to become a curriculum specialist. 
then an expert in conflict resolution. I might add a, a field of expertise that came in very ha handy here in the Jewish community. And then he moved into human relations uh, before retiring. And I was a bit surprised, but so pleased when he accepted the offer to come in and help out uh, the Coalition for Jewish Learning uh, shortly after retiring from MPS and to have somebody of Steve's uh, character and the prestige that he brought with him based upon his experiences and his successes. He was the right person at the right time for this job. His pedigree, his inclusive approach to bringing people together in the process, his openness to different perspectives and viewpoints really helped uh, reestablish uh, the coalition and its bona fides and its important role and impact in prioritizing and promoting Jewish education in our Milwaukee Jewish community. Perhaps his personal attributes and again, his selfless style were never more needed and necessary than when um, the Federation asked him uh, under the auspices of the coalition to, if you will, serve as the new home and advocate for the then Herc Holocaust Education and Resource Center. During these difficult times, I, I know that Steve really showed the kind of person he is, and the best word that comes to mind is a mensch, and that's who he was, and that's who he has been up to this day. It's been so nice to reconnect with you, Steve, in recent years since you left the coalition and I left the Federation. You're still the same genuine, caring human being that I remember over 20 years ago, and I'm proud to call you a friend. Uh, your legacy as a principal advocate for Jewish education is assured. Congratulations and Mazel Tov. I want to thank CJL for giving me its Lifetime Impact Award. It's a great honor. And among other things, it's given me some time to think about impact. What has an impact? What doesn't? And how do we have an impact? What is it that makes a difference? My musings started when cleaning up during this pandemic and I found something I hadn't looked at for many years. A chicken, a paper mache chicken given to me by one of my students in Rice Lake, Wisconsin in 1966 as a student teacher, trying to figure out whether I was going to be an educator or not. It must have taken a lot of time that a teenage girl would take the time to make something like this. I mean, it had an impact and it made me think I must have been having some sort of impact and it made a difference. Other things have made a difference over the years. Uh, not that it's been all toys, but this is the son of Bartholomew. Bartholomew made an impact also. My wife Judy and I were in Sausalito, California on a trip back in the early 70s. And I bought this and she said, you must be crazy. But Bartholomew had a tremendous impact over the years. People talked to Bartholomew. People hit Bartholomew. He brought out all kinds of things. People wrote essays about him. And he had an impact. In our home, we looked at making changes in our life at a certain point. And we started to celebrate Friday evening as Shabbat. Shabbat was a time when we would say one line of a Kiddush and one line of Hamotzi. Even though it's not a lot, it was something. And it started us on the road. One day, it was a hard day. It was hot. And it was a rough day at work. And I came home and just said, let's eat. And our three-year-old daughter said, Daddy, aren't we going to have Shabbos today? And it made us stop to think, gee, something's having an impact here. 
something is making an impact on this young girl. What is it that we are doing that has an impact and what doesn't? And when we th think about it, going back, I think if we analyze it, it's important to look at how we are working with the kids. Are we making it enjoyable? Because the stakes are high here. We are responsible as a group for bringing the word of God to these children and trying to pass the legacy of our Jewish heritage and the Word of God on to another generation. I'm truly humbled that Milwaukee Jewish Federation and CJL have allowed me to do this holy work. I'm aware that they have allowed me to do what I really enjoy doing and have enjoyed doing for so many years and to do it in a Jewish community context. There are so many people to thank, but I would be amiss if I didn't thank my family for the patience that they've had, for Judy Baruch, who has helped keep me going and helped me and inspired me in so many ways to make an impact, as well as our children, our family, and in recent years, our son-in-law, Charlie, and our daughter-in-law, Helen. It is an honor to get this award here with all the people who make things happen in our community. I want to thank, again, the Coalition for Jewish Learning for this beautiful plaque, which says, during your career, you have taught children and adults in our community. You have touched so many lives Thank you for all you have done to uplift the profession of Jewish education. Also, I've been given a gift which was hidden from me, but now I can look at it and see, ah, what is it? It is a beautiful sidurim bound and for daily and for holidays, daily and for holidays. I thank you again for allowing me to do the most important job in the world, educating children, and in this case, educating Jewish children. Let us continue to do this holy work together with all the feeling that gives our children the inspiration to continue our Jewish legacy. The Teacher Impact Awards are given to recognize teachers who are great at a particular educational skill, such as mentoring, innovating, helping others, or other distinctive contributions. The School Support Awards are given to non-teachers, i.e. administrators, lay leaders, volunteers, or aides who have provided something valuable to their school. We will recognize these people in three groups, first the supplementary schools, then the preschools, and finally the day schools. We encourage you to use the chat comments to cheer for the winners. For Congregation Beth L. Sheboygan, the Teacher Impact Award goes to Maria Bruss. The School Support Award goes to Brittany Beagle. For Congregation Beth Israel Nair Tamid, the Teacher Impact Award goes to Diane Boland. The School Support Award goes to Erica Billings. For Congregation Emmanuel B'nai Shuren, the Teacher Impact Award goes to Jennifer Saber. The School Support Award goes to Mijano Foster. For Congregation Emmanuel of Waukesha, the Teacher Impact Award goes to Marie Leffler. The School Support Award goes to Zachary Jokey. For Congregation Shalom, the Teacher Impact Award goes to Roger Karp. The School Support Award goes to Linda Berlin. For Congregation Sinai, 
The Teacher Impact Award goes to Lisa Vondra. The School Support Award goes to Natalie Black. For Milwaukee Community Hebrew School, the Teacher Impact Award goes to Dina Rechavel. The School Support Award goes to Avigail Sachs. For Peltz Hebrew School, the Teacher Impact Award goes to Mushki Rappaport. The School Support Award goes to Mosi Feller. From Ganami Early Childhood Education Program, the Teacher Impact Awards go to Haley Butler and Lauren Pollock. From Ganami Early Childhood Education Program, the School Support Award goes to Jody Margolis. From Jewish Beginnings, Lubavitch Preschool, the Teacher Impact Award goes to Suzanne Beck. The School Support Award goes to Sarah Jensen. From Mequon Jewish Preschool, the Teacher Impact Award goes to Hindi Spalter. The School Support Award goes to Jacqueline Bluma. From Bader Hill Academy, the Teacher Impact Award goes to Bacha Lambeth. The School Support Award goes to Julia Lotman. From Bader Hill High, the Teacher Impact Award goes to Rabbi Yehoshua Landis. The School Support Award goes to Pessel Jacobs. From Milwaukee Jewish Day School, the Teacher Impact Award goes to Daisy Jervis. The School Support Award goes to David Atif. From Torah Academy of Milwaukee, the Teacher Impact Award goes to Michelle Marin. The School Support Award goes to Elisheva Appel. From Yeshiva Elementary School, the Teacher Impact Award goes to Corey Aronow. The School Support Award goes to Rabbi Hirsch Hiller. From Wisconsin Institute for Torah Study, the Teacher Impact Award goes to Earl Labokin. The School Support Award goes to Denise Metzger. The Gill Incentive for Teachers or GIFT Award is designed to honor teachers who are willing to share their unique and creative educational ideas. I want to give special thanks to the family of Norman and Ethel Gill who continue to sponsor this award in their memory and for the role they play in recognizing exemplary teaching. We truly miss Ethel and Norman who are both members of our board for many years and contributed so much to Jewish life in Milwaukee. Would previous winners of the Gill Incentive for Teachers Award please put your name in the chat or comments. This year we are giving out two gift awards. The first gift award goes to Jody Honigman of the Milwaukee Jewish Day School for her project on the World Zionist Congress. This project allowed sixth and seventh graders at Milwaukee Jewish Day School to learn about the Jewish question and the history of anti-Semitism. Students learned about what led up to the first World Zionist Congress in 1897. They learned about Jewish communities around the world and then worked as teams to develop their ideas about Zionism from the perspective of the different countries. They made food that represented the Jews in their country and came to the presentation dressed as representatives of the Congress. Students facilitated the Congress themselves and discussed the future of the Jewish people. After the Congress, students reflected and came to their own conclusions about Zionism's role in the Jewish future. The second award goes to Sherry Miller and Tamara Miller of Congregation Emmanuel B'nai Shurin for their Madrachim training project. The goal of this project was twofold. One, to offer the students information, encouragement, and support. And two, to increase the helpfulness of the Madrachim that the religious school teachers rely on. Achieving these goals led to the eighth through 12th graders remaining engaged in religious school. The Madrachim training took place during the last 40 minutes of Sunday school during the 2018-2019 school year at Emmanuel B'nai Shurin. Holding the Madrachim training during re regularly scheduled religious school didn't require parents to make an extra trip back to the synagogue or to wait around after religious school ended. The teachers appreciated the training that the Madrachim utilized when they were helping in the classroom. Each year at the Salute to Jewish Educators, CJL honors educators from local schools. We recognize that important Jewish education also happens in informal settings. Informal education includes camps, youth groups, art programs, environmental education, Jewish travel programs, and all other types of Jewish education happening outside of a classroom environment. 
We want to give special thanks to the family of Jerry Benjamin, Zicharono Lavrechecha, CJL Lifetime Impact Award winner, past president of the Milwaukee Jewish Federation, for whom this award is named. Jerry was the co-founder of CAGE, the Coalition for the Advancement of Jewish Education. This award is a tribute to his passion for Jewish education. The Inspiration Award was new in 2016. It enables our community to recognize excellence and innovation in informal education. With the previous winners of the Inspirational Award for Informal Ed Jewish Education, please put your name in the chat comment. This year, we have two Inspiration Awards. The first winner is Debbie Intervaya. Debbie Intervaya is the director of the school at Congregation Bethel in Sheboygan. She is also the youth director and a teacher at Congregation Beth Israel Ner Tamim. Throughout the years, Debbie has realized that challenges are actually learning opportunities. After moving to Sheboygan and joining Congregation Bethel, she became a board member and president of the local Hadass Hadassah chapter. She took on secretary of the Sheboygan Hebrew Cemetery, Girl Scout leader of two troops, obtained a small business, and helped in a home office. She became a religious school teacher at Bethel Nair Tamid, eventually becoming the education director for five years. After the merger of Congregation Beth El Nair Tamid with Congregation Beth Israel, Debbie was hired as the youth director at Congregation Beth Israel Nair Tamid. She also volunteers and is a past sisterhood president. After hearing there were some young families in the Sheboygan area, she started a small religious school of which she is very proud. She is extremely thankful for the support of her family, colleagues, and school youth group parents. The second award goes to Lisa Hiller and Sarah Frank. Lisa Hiller is the Vice President for Administration of Bader Philanthropies. Lisa also serves on the board of the Milwaukee Jewish Federation. In 2002, Lisa rediscovered her performance arts skills learned in high school, joining Sarah Frank, Robbie Borsick, and TAM students in producing a musical theater production performed by women for women audiences. Sarah Frank, raised in the Midwest, is proud to call Milwaukee home for the past 34 years. She is a clinical dietitian by profession, but her favorite job has been her volunteer position as musical director for the annual musical productions at the Torah Academy of Milwaukee, TAM. Since 2002, director Sarah, producer Lisa, and master costumer Robbie Borsick have been arranging, creating, and working with the students at TAM to produce a wide variety of theatrical productions. There have been 15 full Broadway-style musicals. Lisa and Sarah have supported TAM students as they develop their creative spirit, expanded their imagination, designed new channels of communication, and built organizational skills, setting the stage for their many future achievements in our Jewish communities across the globe. In this day and age, when so many are calling for the empowerment of women, Lisa and Sarah are actually doing so by instilling the students of TAM with confidence, discipline, organization, and so many other skills by working on the theater production each year. They don't just talk the talk, they are walking the walk by empowering and lifting women up. A Jewish educator is a person who is fun. I like my teachers because they listen and they're kind and caring. I like my teachers because they read really books. Because they do awesome art projects. I like my teachers because they teach me, me about towns. We love the teachers at our school because they let us do fun things like sledding. The fun things that we kind of get to do is that Hebrew reading and that when we are good listeners, we get tokens and then we get prizes. Because I have fun activities with my teachers and that they teach me Hebrew. I like my teachers because they give us learning time. I like my teachers because they always take care of me and they're really nice. What is your favorite yeah. Jewish holiday and why? I like Hanukkah because I like lighting the menorah. I like Purim because I like doing the carnival and I like making different kinds of food. I love 
circus because it's my birthday and I love being in the circus. My favorite holiday is Purim because we come in passion and we get dressed in costumes. My favorite Jewish holiday is Hanukkah because I get presents. What would you tell someone that is new to our school? I would tell them how fun it is here. I would tell them that our school is very supportive and everyone is just so nice. It's just a very happy environment. If someone was new to my school, I would show them around. New to come to this school, I would tell them, don't worry, it's fun. We do a project every single class time. I would tell them, you can be my friend. My favorite Jewish holiday is Pesach because my mother makes the best food. And uh, the best food I like is the mangoes with the best. And when my mommy and daddy come from Montreal, I like prayer because it's a fun day for us to celebrate and it's really fun to get together with friends and family. I like Hanukkah. I like Hanukkah too. My favorite Jewish holiday is Passover because of the delicious food my grandma makes. My favorite Jewish holiday is Hanukkah because I like celebrating the lights and lighting the menorah and getting a lot of presents. My favorite holiday is Purim because you get to dress up and eat hamantash. If I were a teacher at a Jewish school, I'd have um, fun um, with learning, like it'd be interactive. If I was a teacher at a Hebrew school, I would make sure that all the students felt welcome. If I was a teacher in a Jewish school, on cold winter days, I would give my students hot chocolate. If I was a teacher at a Jewish school, I would make the students feel more connected to Judaism. I would let people, I would be nice and let them come into the room. I would teach the kids as best as I could to make them, to let them understand what I'm teaching them. I would teach them about who the first Jews were and how it moved on and on. If I was the teacher, I would let the kids watch shows after they finish their work. My favorite holiday is Passover because I get to spend time with my family and eat food. My favorite holiday is Hanukkah because you get presents. I like Purim because I get to dress up. Purim because you get to dress up as anything you want to. Pesach because I like eating the matzah. My favorite holiday is Hanukkah because you get presents and from all my relatives and they try to eat dinner with us. What Jewish holiday did we just celebrate? Uh, the birthday of trees. And Rosh Hashanah. And Hanukkah. Hanukkah. I like my teachers because they're very kind people. They always have good hearts and they're always willing to do extra things to help. I like my teachers because they um, teach me things and help me learn, and they give up their time to help me learn. She always like lets us do like really fun stuff, like like we gotta do Jenga, but then we get like to learn about what we're like what like actually is happening in like the Jewish world and stuff. I like that my teacher is nice, and she teaches us about the Jewish holidays. I like that my teacher is caring, and she helps us get better at learning Hebrew. I like that they can help us out when we need help. They give me candy, and they want me to drink in class. Everyone is so nice. My teacher is so kind. I like my teachers because they always have fun lessons. I love my teachers because they work really hard to make sure that we're always learning. Um, Because even though sometimes I don't like it, they do a really good job at educating me, and it's really good for me. In January 2019, the Coalition for Jewish Learning began a new program called BINA, Building Inquiry-Based Network Through Heverta. The original program brought together nine teachers from schools across the community, supplementary schools, day schools, and preschools, to form a year-long learning cohort. The group embarked on a journey of professional development that included Heverta tech study, video investigation, curriculum study, compassionate communication, and more. Today, these nine educators graduate from the BINA program, earning a certificate of graduation and a $500 stipend. Beth Rappaport, 
Congregational Manuel B'nai Ashurin. Debbie and Travaya, Congregation Beth Israel Ner Tamid and Congregation Beth El Sheboygan. Karen Torum, Yeshiva Elementary School. Lexi Sitzmar, Congregation Beth Israel Ner Tamid. Lisa Vandra, Congregation Sinai. Marie Leffler, Congregation Emmanuel Waukesha. Molly Beth Kranitz, Ghana Me. Richard Paler, Congregation Shalom and Milwaukee Jewish Day School. Roger Karp, Congregation Shalom. Mazel tov to all of our graduates. Our community is blessed with superb Jewish educators, and the Coalition for Jewish Learning wishes to highlight their contributions and thereby elevate the status of Jewish educators in Milwaukee. This annual award enables our community to show gratitude for all the time, effort, and care our best educators give to their students. This award recognizes nominees who have been engaged in Jewish education for a minimum of five years in Milwaukee, demonstrate leadership in, within the field of Jewish education, inspire students with a love of Jewish learning, personify the Jewish ideals of love of learning and search for knowledge, have contributed to the elevation of the status of Jewish educators within the Jewish community. We now recognize previous winners of the Jewish Educator of the Year Award. Please put your name in the chat or comments. This year, our Jewish Education Award has a new name the Levy Family CJL Jewish Educator of the Year Award. Award sponsors, Mark and Cindy Levy, have been dedicated to Jewish education for many years. Cindy was a longtime member of the CJL Advisory Board. Mark and Cindy are also very involved at their synagogue, Congregation Emanuel of Waukesha. They made the commitment to drive their daughter, Sharon, to Milwaukee every day so that she could attend Milwaukee Jewish Day School for 10 years. As supporters of Jewish education in Milwaukee, they wanted to elevate the status of their high quality educators in Milwaukee by funding this at Jewish Educator of the Year Award. We are honored to present the Levy Family CJL Jewish Educator of the Year Award. This year's winner is Yael Gal Ben Yitzchak of Nicolay High School and University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee. Introducing Yael today is Jewish Educator Merzi Eisenberg. Good afternoon, everybody. I am Merzi Eisenberg. Greetings to you, Yael. You are not sitting near me as planned to hear why you are receiving the important Educator of the Year Award in the year 2020. Many of your colleagues, students, former students, parents of students, administrators, and more could talk to you about your work. I am the fortunate one to be able to do so today. You came to Milwaukee Jewish Day School after you and your family arrived in Milwaukee in January 1994. You took a position as substitute teacher at Milwaukee Jewish Day School. However, after your first subbing job, the positive feedback about you was so outstanding that a place for you on the faculty was immediately made. What makes you special, Yael? The passion with which you teach the love you have for the Hebrew language, Israel, and its culture, your intelligence, creativity, patience, dedication, passion, humor, as you teach kids and adults, the energy to motivate your students so they too love what you teach, the way you keep your eyes on the goals, your continuation to explore new directions and thus to excite your students with updates in Hebrew language and culture, your willingness to learn from other teachers and to thank your mentors, your supervisors, your co-teachers, your clear organizational skills and lesson plans and no winging it, even if it may look so easy. The cooking, the baking, the skits, the music, and of course the innovation, Hebrew clubs, and a planned class trip to Israel. What you have done to encourage and enlarge the field of technology in teaching foreign language is quite amazing. You make your students feel worthy and important. You make them feel special. As a result, you are very special. Your teaching at MJDS, Nicolay High School, and UWM, probably with some synagogue classes too, is a gift to our community. So dear Yael Gal Ben Yitzchak, 
You are indeed the educator of this year, 2019 to 2020. Mazal tov, kol tov, and love from us all. Shalom, everyone. I'm extremely honored to be the recipient of the 2020 Levi Family CJL Educator of the Year Award. And I would like to first start by saying thank you to the Levi Family for supporting this award and to the CJL Committee for this recognition. I'm humbled to be chosen among such an, an impressive group of educators and blessed to work in a community that values Jewish education so deeply. I could not have arrived at this moment without the support of my loving family, my husband Ophir and my three children, Idan, Yogev and Maya, who inspired me to continue trying to be the best teacher that I can be. I'm not here just by my own merits. I am the teacher that I am today because of the wonderful colleagues, teachers, mentors, administrators and role models I have uh, had along the way who have helped to shape me into the educator that I am today. Specifically, Mersey Eisenberg, who was the first person to believe in me and open the door to the world of Jewish educator, education more than 25 years ago. Growing up in Israel, I've never had to think about what it means to be a Jewish or what Jewish education meant. Everything I did was Jewish. I went to Jewish schools, celebrated Jewish holidays, participated in Jewish events, because in Israel, Judaism was a part of life. And no matter how observant I was, I was always surrounded in a Jewish environment. I remember then when I met students from the United States in my high school years and in my college years, I was always amazed to see just how well they spoke Hebrew and how much they were connected to Israel and to their Judaism. I asked myself, how can you develop such a strong connection and such a deep love for a language and a country 3,000 miles away? Then I came to Milwaukee and I immediately understood. I saw how a community can develop roots to a religion, a language and a nation so far away and how children are raised with a strong Jewish Zionist identity. I remember coming to the Milwaukee Jewish Day School, meeting Gevard Eisenberg and Gevard Altschul and so many other devoted teachers, and seeing how beautifully they instilled the love for the Hebrew language and to the state of Israel, how they inspired children and young adults. And I realized then that I wanted to follow in those footsteps and to continue their legacies. I love my students and I love teaching them. I couldn't think of a better job to have than being in the classroom with my students. When I hear them speak in Hebrew, when I see them get excited about Israel Fest or making sufganiyot, and when I listen to their beautiful voices singing in Yom HaZikaron ceremony, my heart melts. But above all, the Jewish values remind me why I chose this job and how meaningful every day in the classroom is for me. Rabbi Hanania once said, I have learned much from my teachers, more from my colleagues, and most from my students. Throughout my years of teaching, I learned from everyone around me, my fellow teachers, parents, and community members. But the lessons I've learned from my students, former and current, of kindness and caring and treating everyone with respect and dignity and being proud and complete with who they are as Jewish young adults go beyond the classroom. I know that they will continue our tradition and will make this world a better place because of who they are and how they were raised. As my students wrote on our Hebrew class wall, you and I will change the world. I have no doubt that they will live up to this saying, and I can't wait to see what their, their future brings. This is my opportunity to thank all parents for supporting me over the years and for making Jewish education a part of their children's lives. You as parents play a big role in passing the torch to the next generation. I'm fortunate to be a small part of this journey. Working alongside uh, other wonderful teachers and students has been the greatest gift. I'm more than honored, not only for this award, but also for the opportunity to work in this community for over 20 years. And I'm so grateful that each one of you is part of my life. 
תודה רבה. appreciative you are of what others have done for you. Thank you to all those who have made our school the best it is. Thank you to the staff of Congregation Emanuel of Wasserschaft for their time, dedication, and support of their students, parents, for their inspiration and support of my ideas in making this school year a success. Who a teacher is, is so much more important than what they teach. Thank you for being such resilient and amazing people. On behalf of Congregation Emmanuel B'nai Yishurin, we say Toda Raba to all the teachers, Madrachim, and support staff. Education is an essential part of Judaism. Thank you, teachers, for raising the next generation. Thank you to all of our staff and teachers at MJDS. It's because of you, our adult lions, that we are successful this year. Thank you to the Milwaukee Community Hebrew School teachers and all teachers for all the hard work you do um, taking care of our students, especially this year, making a really difficult situation into something spectacular. TAM teachers, you always prove to be amazing, creative, flexible, persevere and succeed. You rose to the COVID challenge and aced it. Thank you. Thank you teachers for your incredible flexibility and your dedication to all of our students. We are so fortunate to live in a city that has such dedicated teachers, staff, and administrators. Thank you so much for all that you do, educating our children, giving them a love of Torah and Mitzvahs, educating the next generation, the future leaders of the Jewish people. To our dearest Ganami faculty, you are our mishpacha, our family. Thank you. Thank you for doing it with grace and with love and with a deep sense of Jewish identity. We are so grateful for each of you. Teachers of Yeshiva Elementary School and across the nation, you have taught me a new meaning of, this, of the word devotion this past spring. But you did so out of love and devotion for your students. Thank you. You are much appreciated. Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel famously said, what we need more than anything else is not textbooks, but text people. I want to say toda Rabba, a big, big, enormous thank you for being our text people. I'd like to express a deep and heartfelt thank you to our faculty for your openness, for your vision, for your willingness to journey together for high quality education. Toda Raba to our amazing Jewish educators in our community. Thank you for all you do. Shout out to the entire Bader Hillel Academy teaching staff and all of those who help support Jewish education in this year. We are so proud of you. We could not do our job without you. Mazel Tov. We want to thank the Milwaukee Jewish Federation for its support of this event. Special thanks to Synagogue Educators Council, Carrie Barbakoff, Rabbi Rachel Marks, Denny Rappaport, Chava Edelman, Chazan Jeremy Stein, Susan Kosden, and Brian Abner. Thank you to the CJL Advisory Board for their participation and support of this event and to salute to Jewish Educators Committee for organizing the event. A special thank you to the outgoing CJL Advisory Board Chair, Leon Cohen. Your hard work for CJL is appreciated by us all. Thank you all for coming today. Thank you, Milwaukee Jewish educators. Feel free to put your Zoom on gallery view and socialize for a few minutes. And we please, please accept our apologies with the technical difficulties. Thank you. Just a beautiful, beautiful presentation. Tiffy, excellent. Oh, just lovely.